Set it and forget it. So, I have compiled, I have a compile, <laughs> I have a compilation, is that it? A compilation of tattoos that I've done, pictures of them, and he's going to show them to you, and I'm going to talk about them, because it's a so cool, okay, I'm just saying, I better not do that, but I was going to sing a song too, but I don't know which one yet. It's too late! to form a child <laughs> it's really it's too late to apologize but my friend was like I thought that's what they said it's too late to form a child <laughs> dude TLC baby 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 I got so much love in me oh baby baby it's just a lot of baby 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 in there you know what I mean it's a beautiful life. La 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 la. He's a cold hearted snake. Look into his eyes. Uh oh. He's been telling lies. He's a lover boy at play. Ooh. He don't play by rules. Okay, let's go with the photos. I'll have to pick one later. I don't know. I could do crazy, bitch. I don't want to talk about that one. I could talk about this one. Okay. Jonas is one of the tattoo artists that worked for me at Flame and Don's in Granite City. And these are, it's an ace and a king. This is king of spades. So, and they're two cards and it looks like they're kind of burnt a little on the outside. It has like, it was on fire for a second. Effect, the fire, on fire effect, but then put out. On fire, put out effect. That's, and with the skull, so that's right here on his arm. It's pretty big, but that was one of the ones I did after I first got licensed, so, because me and the tattoo artist, we'd practice on each other, and this is one of the ones that he put on me. Okay, next. <laughs> okay, this is my best friend's husband. This was before they got married, though. This is custom. I drew it out for him, everything, and I put the name. This was before I was licensed, actually. I was, people would come in, and I would give them a tattoo, but they knew that, you know, I didn't have my license yet, so they were only, like, $25 a tattoo and then a tip, but when they were really good, they were good. Like, this one I really liked a lot, and it's, like, this, it's about this big, and it still looks really great, so, yeah, and his name is James, and I did some tattoos on the back of his calves. Um, they're both their boys footprints and stuff. So that was awesome. Okay And this is like a new age bird, you know like the anime with everybody likes the big eyes now and They have the fancy birds and they have birds with anime eyes apparently so and they all have like a pupil I don't know what's happening, but I just love the color of it and the shape The colors are awesome if you do the colors right, they look really good with the red and the green and the yellow. Green is, I, I never really like green, you know what I mean? Like, it, I never thought of it to be as my favorite color. But on your skin, it's so beautiful, like teals and greens. Pinks, you know, not so much because you don't know if it's going to turn more red or match your skin, you know. So that was a really nice piece that I did. I really liked that one. And it didn't take me very long either. Next. This is my boyfriend, Brett, or my fiancé, because I have my money ring. But we don't really want to say that until he gets me my new ring, which is really cool. It's it's Foster's Jewelry, and it's got two, like, he does jewelry by request. So he has two skulls, and then it's got the round diamond at the top. It's going to be beautiful. But this was, me and him started getting tattoos together. What was this? 2008, and we went, and I drew that out. This was before I was actually tattooing. I drew my name out, and then he got it put right on his chest above his heart. Aww. So cute. Oh, and this is a butterfly and a rose. It needs to be flipped, though, because this is right on my mom's shoulder right here where I have my jasmine. Yes, my mom is tougher than I thought. What is she, 54, and she got two tattoos? I was so proud. Oh, yeah, there we go. Aww. Yeah. I did a realistic rose, but then I did, like, you know, 
a more cartoony butterfly. I know I thought it looked good together. I had used the, the darker colors with my mom because her skin tone was a lot darker. She's a lot more tan than I am, so. Because she is Filipino. I'm just half. I'm a halfling. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh, okay. This is one I drew up, custom, for a guy I used to go to school with, Josh. It has, what it is, it's a four-leaf clover because he's Irish, I'm guessing. So, and it has uh, both his, well, he has more than two children now, but those are his first two kids, um, the day they were born, and their names. So, that one was really cool. I love to play with the, the ripping and the tearing of, he wanted it to look, you know, rough. Like, it wasn't just the perfect, because all you see, everybody gets four-leaf clovers are always, like, this perfect. So, I was like, all right, I'm going to rough it up around the edges a little bit. But that was a fun piece, and it's ginormous. It's like this big, so it took me a long time, and that's a really tender area, like really tender. And I don't recommend it for women because, I mean, unless you're never going to get pregnant or gain a pound because you get them right here, and then they get pregnant, and the tattoo, I mean, if you use, use a lot of lotion and you're young, it'll snap back, but if you're a little bit older, like maybe... A little older than me, which isn't that much older, because I'm like 29, so. And you have babies, sometimes your skin isn't as elastic. That's why losing weight now for me is harder, because when they cut into my muscle because of my C-section, my muscle tissue is damaged there, so rebuilding it, I'm never going to, I'm always going to have like the small flap of skin that I can't get rid of, unless I get a tummy tuck, I wish. But I don't know what that had to do with that tattoo, but you know. <laughs> random talking okay oh okay this is a good one this is a dream catcher and i never done a dream catcher before and this was my first time doing feathers so i think it came out really good it was uh, i was going for more of a realistic look with this one with the feathers and uh, i don't know much about dream catchers so i mean i guess i could do some but i mean if you guys know anything leave me some comments you know because I'm not, I don't know if that's like an Indian thing or, I'm not sure. But she was really into dream catchers. She said she had nightmares and when she got that it helped. I think it could be like a mind thing. Like, you know, if I have this, then this will stop and then that's what your brain thinks. So it changes. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. And this is another piece that I did. This was a custom piece. The guy, he asked for a skull you know, ripping through his skin. So I'm thinking, okay, we're going to go towards more of a scarier skull with the red in the background, in the eyes, you know, and then with the sharp teeth, because, I mean, you know, if you see a skull of a person, they don't have, like, you know, vampire teeth like that. <laughs> so we're going for more of, like, a demon-type skull, and he's ripping through the skin with his teeth, so I thought that was fun. That's pretty big. His arm was pretty big, so it was about this tall. And uh, that was really fun because he was like, this was his very first tattoo. So it was exciting for me too because it was, uh, I think I was licensed by then, but um, I haven't done that many skulls yet. So it's, I mean, I did, okay, it's not photo realistic, but it's kind of like realistic with the shading, but then with the teeth, it's more vampire, you know. So that was awesome. Okay. This was a flower that I did. This girl came in and she was upset because her friend died, but this is one of her favorite flowers. So, and she was like, I really want it to look exactly like this. So they could get matching. Her and her friend can get the matching flowers. And I really love the way I did this one. It looks like, with the colors, it just looks like it's popping off of her skin, doesn't it? Like it's just floating there instead of like in her skin to me with those colors. So she had to really, when you have that really nice porcelain skin color is amazing it is oh this is uh this was before i was licensed too i was still practicing it's a frog but you know it's not a photorealistic frog it's just kind of frog i made up but i love the eyes in it with the orange and i love the blues and the greens and that's on my boyfriend's arm too it's um where is it oh it's right here it's a pretty good size but you can only see it, like, when you hold it like this, his arm, it's upside down, so it's weird to me, but that's how he wanted it, so he could just be like. I don't know. I forgot the 
name of this guy? Geppetto or Jiminy Cricket? Jiminy Cricket. You know, the guy with the long nose. Who's that? Pinocchio. Oh my God! You know, I never watched that movie. Geppetto's the person that made yes. Pinocchio. Oh, yeah. see, at least I knew the important guy. He made him, or else there wouldn't even be a cricket or a wooden boy. And I don't know how wood can grow randomly. It's weird. Because he lied. Okay, but I don't go out to a tree and wait for it to lie and then it grows. Wow. I'm just saying, guys. That's why I don't like... I, okay, everybody loves Disney movies, I know, but I don't watch Disney movies very much, so... But I still liked it because he was a really cute character and it was fun with the colors. So that's why I went ahead and did this. Because a lot of things, sometimes I would turn it down because it was in the first you know, year, so I didn't want to do anything that I, could, I knew I couldn't do. You know what I mean? I still haven't done um, portraits because they're very hard. Like, I was there for five years and I was doing, you know, I was doing a lot harder things than when I started, but I would never do something, a tattoo or design that I knew I couldn't do. That I knew that I wouldn't, in my mind, if I wasn't confident to like, oh my God, is this going to be a great tattoo, then I wouldn't do it. If I'm like, oh, it's going to be mediocre. You know, I would recommend Denny or Tim to do it because they were more experienced. Like, Denny's like 25 years, you know what I mean? So I would be like, and I'd give it to him, even though I'm losing money. Because I don't want someone to walk out with this mediocre, crappy tattoo and be like, oh, well, Liz did that. Because that's, you know, that's your portfolio. Whoever leaves, you know, the tattoo shop is like, oh, well, Liz did this. And people are harsh critics, you know what I mean? They are of your work. And if they see one mess up, they're going to be like, well, I ain't going to her. But if they see that it's good, then they come back and be like, wow, she's good at character. She's good at skulls. You know, she's good at tribal. And she's good with color. So, you know, and that's how, you know, that's how you make your money. Because you don't want to do a tattoo that's mediocre. And then everybody's like, oh, I just paid. And, you know, you don't, and you don't charge outlandish. You know what I mean? You be competitive, but... You charge, you know, you go with your years and the size. This girl went into a shop and she told the guy she wanted, you know, hot chick. Chinese symbol for hot chick. And there isn't one. So the guy did the closest thing to it, which was spicy chicken. So the tattoo really meant spicy chicken. Because I think she went somewhere and there was Chinese people around, apparently, because they were like, oh, spicy chicken. And she's like, no, hot chick. And they're like, oh, no, spicy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> but, you know, and it's got the flowers around it. And that she got that right here. And she was in pain. We had to take a lot of breaks because this is sensitive, guys, all this. Like, look at all the tattoos I have, and I won't even get one right here. Oh, no. I got one on my foot. almost thought I was going to die. I don't even want to get it fixed. Um, I have more, or I might not have more, I don't know. Because I lost my cam, or someone stole my camera that had all my pictures on it. Because I had a nice camera, you know, and I was mad, so I don't know what happened. But if I get back into it, you know, I'm going to take more pictures. Because a lot of them I didn't take pictures of sometimes. They would be something small, like, I want an infinity symbol, and I'm like, that's it? You know, people just get you know, like a name, you know. So I did a lot of names. And if you're not going to be with that person forever, I suggest that if you have any doubts in your mind at all that you are going to break up with them and not love them forever, I suggest not getting it tattooed on your body because you will have to have it covered up. <laughs> or it's a reminder every day of your past, so... That's why I do a lot of family, but I knew I was going to be with Brett forever, so. Well, we first broke up, I had Brett right here inside this little heart in red, so that if something did happen, I could just fill the heart in with red, which I did, because we broke up that one time. And then I put it right here, after that again. <laughs> but then when we broke up, I didn't cover it up, I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> it looks like a design, a lot of people don't even know that's a name. You know what I mean? Because it's so, it looks like just a tribal design, really. I could have it covered if I wanted, but I don't want to have, I'm thinking of getting tattoos on my fingers, but I don't know, because you can't get a lot of jobs with tattoos on your hands. I'm going to get a tattoo on my face. 
I'm going to show you more pictures. So there's going to be a part two. Yay! Woo -woo. Love, life, and Liz. Peace out. Peace. Stop the video.